Hello subscribers, here is another unboxing video, and um, I'll be unboxing two packages this time. Uh, I have First I'll be you know opening up this one which has one figure, and then the next package which has a lot of dinosaurs, it will be coming soon. So uh, when once that arrives I'll record that and I'll just you know uh, merge the two, uh, two videos together. So first let's open up this one. See I already you know, opened up a hole so it'll make things easier. So yeah, here we have the Papogorgosaurus. Which ran me about uh, almost thirty dollars, which is way too steep for a figure of this size. But it still looks nice. So yeah, that's the uh, Papo Gorgosaurus. Here is the second package. As you can see, it's a really big box. So at the time I'm recording this, it's uh, five days after I got the Papo Gorgosaurus. So let's open uh, this package up. So the box is open, so let me move this big box aside, and I'll just show you what's inside. So I'll start with this first. So yeah, this is the uh, Terabyte Batat, a uh, small dinosaur range. Uh, these were once available at Target, but sadly they took them off the shelves. And these were the um, ones that retail for $5.99. So yeah, see, you got Ceratosaurus, Crylophosaurus, Dacenturus, Amargosaurus, and Carnotaurus. So yeah, that, those are the small dinosaurs. So next up is the medium-sized uh, Terabatat dinosaurs. Now, these retail for $7.99 at Target, so you've got Pachyrhinosaurus, Euoplocephalus, Stegosaurus, and Parasaurolophus. So yeah, those are the medium dinosaurs. And last but not least, we've got the large Terabatat dinosaurs, uh, which you know, retail for $9.99 at Target, So th which includes Acrocanthosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex, the one I was most excited for. So yeah, now let's uh, open up these boxes. Now let's start with the uh, smallest ones first. I like how this uh, box comes with, you know, facts about the dinosaurs. Pause if you want to read it. So yeah. Let's just get it opened up. So yeah, uh, first let's start with this one right here. Which is one I already have. This is the Ceratosaurus. Not a huge fan of the sculpt, but it looks decent, but very nice paint job though. Of course, red is my favorite color, and I like red on dinosaurs like Ceratosaurus. So yeah, that's Ceratosaurus. Next up is uh, one that was one of the uh, dinosaurs I was excited for, which is the Cryolophosaurus. I think this one could be my favorite of the uh, Cryolophosaurus toys that are out there. Carnegie's looks fine, but I'm not a fan of the pose, and uh, Papo, yeah, uh, it, it kind of has, you know, a weird pose. So yeah, this, this is a cool looking Cryolophosaurus. Next up is another one I already have, which is the uh, Carnotaurus. But it's scientifically accurate. I like how it's, you know, how it's, you know, skinny like how Carnotaurus should be. So yeah, pretty good figure. And, oh, right, we got two more. So this is the Dacenturus, or Dacenturus. So yeah, it's nice to have uh, a relatively obscure species of Stegosaur. The only other two Stegosaurus uh, genuses I have in my um, collection is uh, Stegosaurus and Miragaya. So it's nice to have this one. Nice green colors on that one. Last but not least, we have the Amargosaurus. Now, the only other Amargosaurus figures I have is um, the Carnegie one and the cheap mini one from Chapmay. But this one looks pretty cool, even though it's got the outdated... Uh, fin spikes on his neck. So yeah, that's the Amargosaurus. Now let's move on to the medium-sized dinosaurs. So here's the box of the uh, medium-sized dinosaurs. And here's the facts. Pause if you want to read it, even though you could probably barely read uh, the facts here. So yeah, let's uh, open this up right now. So uh, let's start with this one first. Here we have the Stegosaurus. I'm not really a fan of this one. The sculpt looks kind of weird. Not a fan of the colors either. But it's not terrible though. Just not my favorite Stegosaurus figure. So yeah, this is the uh, Stegosaurus here. Next up is this nice looking Pachyrhinosaurus right here. See, very stocky. And uh, very interesting colors for this one. Very bright. And, pr and quite heavy as well. So yeah, this is the uh, Pachyrhinosaurus. Next up, we have the Euoplocephalus, which is uh, another uh, dinosaur I was excited for. See, it's nice to have another Ankylosaur in my collection. And this one um, has really nice colors as well. And, you know, quite heavy like the Pachyrhinosaurus. 
So yeah, this is the uh, Euoplocephalus. And the last of the medium-sized dinosaurs is one that I already have, which is the Parasaurolophus. It's a really nice uh, Parasaurolophus figure, though. I, um, it's, <clears throat> I think it's a, a little better than the uh, Safari 2017 one. So yeah, that's the uh, Parasaurolophus. Now let's move on to the large dinosaurs. So here's the box of the large dinosaurs, and this is the last uh, box here. So, see, here's the facts here. So yeah, now uh, let's get this open. So here's the first one I see, which is the dinosaur I was most excited for in this whole assortment. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now this figure just looks amazing. So yeah, it was slightly re-sculpted from the original figure that was released back in the 90s, I think. But yeah, this still holds up to be one of the best T-Rex toys. To me, it's almost as good as the uh, Safari 2017 Feather T-Rex, even though that figure is um, a little outdated. Yeah, see this one? Nice proportions, awesome colors, and an amazing sculpt. So yeah, I can't wait to get this one out of the bag. So yeah, the last one is a figure that I already have, which is the Acrocanthosaurus. Now, this is a really nice Acrocanthosaurus figure right here. Like, it's it's got, you know, nice... It's got okayish proportions with the exception of these legs. I think these legs look a little too short. But it's still a nice looking figure, though not as good as, say, the Safari 2012 Acrocanthosaurus or even the Papo Acrocanthosaurus. So yeah, this is the uh, <coughs> uh, Acrocanthosaurus. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my uh, recent unboxing video. Just to recap, we've got the Papo Gorgosaurus and all the Terabyte Batat dinosaurs, minus the Nyanxiangosaurus, because that figure was discontinued a few years ago, sadly. So yeah, I, I'd definitely be reviewing all of these. Uh, the Papo Gorgosaurus, I'll be reviewing first, and then the Batat dinosaurs, I'll probably be uh, reviewing by assortment. You know, the small dinosaurs, medium dinosaurs, and the large ones. Now, the Batat dinosaurs, I got for about $17 in total. Because, you know, they've been going for really good prices on Amazon right now. So I recommend you guys uh, picking uh, pick up those figures before, you know, the good deal is gone. So, if you guys like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the reviews.